everybody. Today we're making a color wheel using tempera paints. And the first thing we're going to do is take your pencil and write your name on the back and also our class code. That's a really important step. So once we have our name and class code, um, we're going to start by trying to make a dot in the center to kind of figure out where the center of this paper is. We're going to make a circle. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then to make six spaces, we're going to do a tall kind of letter X and then a straight line through the middle going horizontal. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. So now we can do our Roy G. Bev colors. You can even write R O Y G B um, V or P for purple, if you like violet or purple. And then to use temper paints, it's just like watercolors. So if you have a messy paint, um, dip a paper towel in some water and give that paint a nice rub and you'll see that that dirty stuff will come right off. All right, so um, that's why we always rinse and swish our brush in the water before we start. Here, let's begin. So I will start, I'll wet my brush, I'll mix it around on the color red, and then I can begin painting it on here. We're going to do um, little bits at a time. So you'll notice that this paint starts to dry a little lighter. Um, then it is when it goes on. So next on my color wheel, Roy G. Biv comes the color orange. So next to it, I would do orange. And I'm going fast for this video, but I want you guys to go slow and take your time. The next color then would be green, or I'm sorry, yellow, R-O-Y. If your colors mix a little bit, that's okay. The biggest thing is that we make sure that we have them in the correct order today. Once we get our colors all painted on our color wheel, then you guys can grab some black tempera paint. And we might do this next week if it takes too long to dry. Um, and add like an outline, like the examples I showed you, you could make like a picture over top where your color wheel is within an eye or something. And look, this tempera set that I had did not have purple in it. So what do I have to mix, guys? What two colors? Red and blue mixed to make purple. So I'll just grab a little bit of red, swish my brush, a little bit of blue. I'll mix those together and bada bing, bada boom, there's purple. Nice. So I know the light is a little iffy on this recording, but when you're finished, we're going to place it on the drying rack. Next week, we can cut these out and kind of paint over top of them, turn them into eyes or beach balls or something like that. So that's all I want you guys to do today. If you finish early, you can free draw. Have fun, guys. Thank you.